and award-winning actor Matthew McConaughey made a visit to D.C. to make a plea for more restrictive gun laws. McConaughey was born and raised in Uvalde, Texas. We need to restrain sensationalized media coverage. We need to restore our family values. We need to restore our American values. And we need responsible gun ownership. Responsible gun ownership. We need background checks. We need to raise the minimum age to purchase an AR-15 rifle to 21. McConaughey noted that he is a gun owner himself, and he told stories about a number of families of the victims he met after the mass shooting took place in his hometown of Uvalde. The Hollywood actor met with President Biden and lawmakers on Capitol Hill who are working on crafting new gun laws. The Department of Homeland Security says in an advisory that the nation is likely to enter a period of increased violence. This is ahead of turbulent national debates taking place, including upcoming elections and a possible Supreme Court decision to overturn Roe v. Wade. DHS Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas says that the nation is in a heightened threat environment and that it will, quote, become more dynamic in the coming months. The DHS statement was the sixth national terrorism advisory bulletin since January 2021. The advisory says that the DHS expects the threat environment to escalate as high-profile events may be exploited to justify acts of violence. Where is inflation going, and did we see it coming? Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen faces grilling by lawmakers over the administration's policies. NTD's Iris Tao brings us more. Testifying before the Senate Finance Committee on Tuesday, the Treasury Secretary admits again that she misjudged the path of inflation. When I said that inflation would be transitory, what I was not anticipating was a scenario in which we would end up contending with multiple variants of COVID. And I was not envisioning um, impacts on food and energy prices we've seen from Russia's invasion of Ukraine. She says she could have used a better term than transitory, adding, I do expect inflation to remain high. The testimony comes days after Yellen admitted she was, quote, wrong last year when she said inflation would go away quickly. And Republicans are now pressing her on whether Biden's policies, including what they call excessive stimulus spending, have made it worse. Secretary, do you agree with the San Francisco Fed that the nearly $2 trillion March spending package was a significant causal factor in the high, increasingly broad-based and accelerating inflation? Senator, we're seeing high inflation in almost all developed countries. Soaring gas prices are also drawing debate. Yellen points to oil companies, though some senators disagree. Uh, they're sitting on uh, thousands of um, leases on federal lands uh, that they have not yet drilled and but certainly can't do so. But the permits for, for so. proceeding on those leases are not being facilitated. I, I mean, the, the president's executive orders have shut down the Extel pipeline. And an expert on the energy industry tells NTD that permits for other pipelines have been delayed. So if the administration were to say, we're not stopping people from drilling, you can't, drilling wouldn't work if you drill and have wells and then you can't get the oil to a refinery because the pipeline permits are being held up. And Secretary Yellen is likely to face more grilling on these hot button topics on Wednesday when she appears before House lawmakers. Reporting in Washington, D.C., Iris Tao, NTD News. A bipartisan pair of Senate introduced a bill to create a regulatory framework for digital assets. Senators Cynthia Loomis and Kirsten Gillibrand are moving forward together with this legislation. The Responsible Financial Innovation Act will create a complete regulatory framework for digital assets, which encourages responsible financial innovation, flexibility, transparency, and robust consumer protections while integrating digital assets into existing law. The Responsible Financial Innovation Act sets out to clarify regulations surrounding digital assets, including cryptocurrency. The bipartisan bill will update current tax and banking laws to include digital assets, including cryptocurrency, blockchain technology, and non-fungible tokens, and other digital material with value. 
Four states are now approved to receive federal funding to increase access to affordable high-speed internet. The Treasury Department announced Louisiana, New Hampshire, Virginia, and West Virginia are the first states to receive the funding under the American Rescue Plan. More than half a billion dollars in federal funding is now available for these states. It's expected to bring internet service to 200,000 homes and businesses. The Treasury Department requires that the states explain how the funding serves the chosen community's critical needs.